My name is James Blackburn. I live and work in the American Southwest. As a result, I have the good fortune to be able to travel to a variety of beautiful locations. As a professional filmmaker, I document my life through video adventures and I share them with the world. Stay tuned as I travel through the world of movies and the beautiful outdoors. Thanks for watching the James Blackburn Experience. It's Thursday, October 20th, 2016. My buddy Curtis and I are up here on a little fun vacation road trip. Wishing my brothers were here because they would absolutely love this. Maybe next year we can do it again. But uh, today is a fresh day. We just had a nice big breakfast with some eggs and bacon and some more yumminess like that. And we are getting ready now to head out for a daily adventure. So we're going to leave the cabin here in a few minutes and head to Creed, Colorado. And we're going to go look at some Lone Ranger movie sets while we're there. So stay tuned because I think today's going to be a whole bunch of fun. Thanks. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> The journey of Thursday begins <laughs> as we pull out from the cabin on a little bit of a bumpy road, but the men can handle it. We made it. We just drove through the town of Creed. I'll get some shots of that for you later, but right now we're in the canyon next to it where I spent four weeks of my life on the Lone Ranger. Now we would drive all the way back here. Now right there, see that spot right there with the moss growing on it? That's in the movie. That's where they discover the silver at for the movie. I'll show that to you later in the film. They painted it silver actually, that whole rock up there. So yeah, this canyon has a lot of mining history to it, and we're going to go back and explore some of it, as well as it a, was a movie set at one point for Lone Ranger back in 2012. We kind of see some of the old remnants of the mining up there in the left on the rock. Okay, this is right where the movie set was at. This whole section right here where we're at right now. Yeah, you can see a lot of the history here of some of the old things. This is actually a trail here, Bert, that goes to the top. Oh, private property, though, it says. And I stood over this creek right here on a trellis bridge, blindfolded, for 45 minutes one night. And I just listened to a movie set and a creek. But we did come back here and shoot some of this stuff up here. Yeah, we're going to get out. This is where we're going to get out and explore, so. We shot some scenes up here, and I, I actually got to walk around these and explore them a bit. Boy, this is some serious droppage offage here. Yeah, look at that. This is insane. Like, that's real cowboy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 
so awesome. I'm so glad we were able to drive back here and check it out. I wasn't sure if it was going to be blocked off or not, but we're going to park up here and get out and take some pictures. What do you say? Look over there, Bert. Old railroad track thing. Over there, see? <laughs> Boy, that, that wouldn't hold the train anymore. Yeah, check this out. Serious. Look up there too. Some more up there as well. All right, folks. We just got here, parked. We're gonna get out and explore, get some video and pictures for you of this historic mining area just west of Creed, Colorado. So, stay tuned. <laughs> mining building here it's seen better days but it's remarkably in good shape considering how big it is and that it's all made out of wood it's got this huge scaffolding over here that continues down to here and then up here there's some other mining equipment as well as an old metal building and up on the left to the left of that rock spire up there is a couple more buildings let me zoom in for you Right there, there's a couple more mining buildings there too. So it's really beautiful. I mean, look at those beautiful Colorado skies. I mean, that is just brilliant and blue and awesome. Hey everybody, thanks a lot for tuning back in. I can't believe I'm here on such a beautiful day. It's nice and sunny, it's in the 60s, it's warm. And I'm in a beautiful location and I'm absolutely blown away by it. Good howdy everyone, your friendly neighborhood James Blackburn here reporting to you live from the Colorado mountains. I believe today is Thursday, October 20th, 2016, and I've been on this awesome road trip the last few days with my good friend Curtis Talbot. I'd like to go ahead and thank him one more time publicly for flying out to Albuquerque from the Chicago area to go on this road trip with me. We've had a great time, a lot of fun, we've seen a lot of beautiful places, and we've eaten a, a lot of really good food. Today is the canyon next to Creed, where we shot the Lone Ranger movie when I was up here. Stay tuned, I'm gonna go up and find Curtis. He's wandering around getting pictures of this mining area behind us and uh, go see what else we can do. So, talk to you guys in a little bit, bye. Gotta say that this is an interesting structure here. You can see, and it's pretty large. And it continues on to the other side of the road, too. I remember when I was up here on Lone Ranger, I came up and explored these one day. And I found them to be very fascinating. this truck on some adventures. Old Big Red back there has been a very reliable Dodge truck for me for the last four or five years and uh, you know it's an oldie but a classic. It runs well. Now Curtis is back here. We're gonna climb up here a little bit and explore so you can see like it goes way 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 up there. So he's back there exploring and I'm gonna go up there behind him and check it out too and see what we can find. But yeah, here we go. Here we go! Two men in their mid 40s on an epic mountain adventure. Probably doing things that would get other people hurt. But we're careful, we try to be safe. You know, mountains you always double check every foot and make sure it's not gonna slide on you. Because this stuff is slick, if you're not careful. Up 
quickly here. So you can see all these rocks all the way around us are really tall. Yeah. Continuing up here. Oh, it's the hard part is so we'll re -re going up. We'll reassess everything from right here. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good flat rock. It looks safe and wedged in. And that going up gets the head pounding quick. Plus we're at a higher elevation, I think, than we've been on the whole trip. That's the road we drove in on and that we will drive out on. guys we're up here in the mountains in a canyon just west of Creed and uh, it's really beautiful up here it's quiet there's a cool creek going by my truck big red it's down there it's safe and sound it's done really well for us and uh, this beautiful view around us here it's, it's just absolutely amazing especially over there those mountains are really really cool so as I was climbing up this and I got up to the next level, I discovered this little hidden cove back here. It's just a totally great wet spot with moss all over it. And there's even some icicles hanging from it still. So it's been getting that cold up here actually. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of neat. Let's go up and explore a little bit more. What do you say? Hmm? So it's completely carpeted here with this beautiful lush moss. And look at that. I mean, literally, it's, it's almost carpeted it all over. It's really, really beautiful. And it continues up over here. And there you can see some of the first ice that you see in here. And then it continues up here. And right there is another icicle for you. And then it continues up even further. There's even little flowers growing up in there. And there's more icicles up above. So this is obviously a an area that's active with water quite often and it's in the shade so it doesn't dry up I guess so yeah I just think these little micro environments like this are kind of neat it's dripping it's going underneath that ice up there you can see it moving through and there's those beautiful little flowers sandwiched in between this is really, really neat. I think that these are the flowers that have passed on already. They look just like those at one point. Yeah, those are beautiful. And this whole thing is in this big overhanging rock face right here. You can see it keeps going up for quite a ways. I have to really tilt back far to even see the top. Almost going 90 degrees here. There you go. From what I remember of working here on Lone Ranger, this is the spot where the tracks went through. Right over here behind me, down that direction was where the actual tunnel was that they had built in here. That they chipped up here and put in, put together in pieces. It went right 
back through there, the tunnel went that way. And, uh, and then there would have been track that ran through here all along this road. And then it would have ran all the way up to into there. And then there was a little offshoot that went to the right. So I spent about four weeks of my life here in this exact spot. And uh, it's kind of neat being back. It doesn't hardly look the same though because it, you know, the tunnel's gone. That, that changes it quite a bit. Now over here, somewhere along the edge, there was a, a cave that me and Wes hung out in a little bit while we were here. And if you don't know who Wes was, Wes was Johnny Depp's stand-in on the movie. We, and I was Army Hammer's stand-in on the movie for seven months, so we were here quite a bit of time together. Let's go take a look. cave is at now it might be back in here behind this tree you know it's been about four or five years since I've been here and it doesn't look the same I don't know if that's I don't think that's it so I'm wondering if that rock up there on top, the tall one, is probably an interesting landmark to locate for what was in the Lone Ranger. And then over here we have these rocks. We have this big rock right here, which continues all the way over to here, and down to there. And then back here we have those two big landmarks, the, the lower one on the left and then a the tall one in the middle. Those should be easy to spot in the movie, so uh, if I can, I'll try to get some clips or stills out of the movie to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison. But yeah, so we spent about four weeks here, mostly in, in, in the middle of the night. So it's kind of neat to think that right here, on this exact dirt road, there was train tracks down, and there was a tunnel about a quarter mile long tunnel that was built right here out of wood and styrofoam that had tracks that went through it and the train drove through it too and they had built the wall to match up to the rocks and it actually attached over here somewhere and they even had a waterfall on on the man-made tunnel that they had which is kind of neat and over here there's a creek that runs through they did not block that the, the tunnel stopped before it got to there So here I am walking in a spot where I spent a lot of time working on the Lone Ranger. Over here, let's look at some of these rock formations, like that boulder there with the tree next to it. I wonder if that's in the movie. And then some of this should be recognizable if we see it during the daytime. I don't remember there being a power line through here back then, but there might have been. All right, so that will conclude the Lone Ranger tour here in this little canyon. I'll try to edit down something fun there for you guys. Should be a good time. And uh, we're gonna continue down to the town of Creed now and find ourselves a little snackage and then maybe head back to the cabin. And I'm gonna do some underwater photography for you guys later with my waterproof cameras of the Rio Grande, which runs right behind our cabin. So that's always a good time too. So thanks for everybody. I appreciate you watching and spread the word and subscribe.
Alright guys, here we are in our cabin in our kitchen. We're getting ready to chow. We got some nice burgers going, some fries, and good old fashioned cream soda in big red form. So get ready for our mouths to turn red. <laughs> I did it again, didn't I? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> These are good seasoned fries. 